Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, you're so, so welcome to be here. I am so happy to be back in front of the mic or my laptop really <laughs> to do a little cloud painting tutorial. I guess a little chat, a little catch up as well. And yeah, let's jump straight on into today's video. So today I just felt like sitting down, doing a bit of sketching for today for we change. You know, I haven't really sat down in front of my iPad for about a week with being on holiday and just getting some much needed rest away from my laptop and everything else in between. So I'm so glad to be back and to be back creating and just feeling a lot more refreshed and rested and ready to go. So yeah, let's jump straight into the painting. I did have a bit of a pause here because I really had to think about what I was going to do. Even though this art and time lapse after it's finished is like, literally is like six seconds so anywho so i decided to do a few little cloud paintings i haven't done this for a hot minute honestly i if you've been here long enough like way way a few years and you will know i had a bit of a cloud phase like a bit of a cloud era and i did like simple like canvas paintings way back when i had my etsy Maybe I should do that again. Like I haven't done like traditional art in a long time. I did comment under a fellow, um, a, a fellow Northern Irish artist called Hannah Hewitt. I will leave her little Instagram page down below in the description. Um, she did this lovely piece. It's on her Instagram, and you just have to go and see it. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head, but it was just like she done like a process video, and like oh, it was just absolutely stunning. And it made me miss traditional art and just like the actual feeling of getting out like your palette and your painting all out there and it just sort of led me to do a little bit of digital art and just to experiment with a few brushes as you can see here. So I started off by doing the shadows of the reference here that I have from a sunrise about from about two years ago I believe from my college days when I used to take a bit like Kanye West and you know take a photograph of the sunrise if you've seen that meme you know you know and then I said look player to multiply and I used a wet sponge brush I believe it's on I believe it's on program itself under the like wet textures I believe I think <laughs> that sounds really wrong anyway um but yeah so I experimented with a few brushes in this just to get the texture that I wanted and yeah you will see me go through like a lot of brushes and just me just having to be play around to see what I like um I had a few like custom brushes like wait for your ones but I didn't like it so as you can see I'm just playing about here The artistic brushes as well it just wasn't given to me honestly it wasn't given but anyway keep going come on get to the point <laughs> oh anyway so on to the real like chat of this video i guess sort of prophetic encouragement really is just about rest and what the lord has really deposited on my heart really you know like i've had like a week off of like art, the online store, and just everything really, and writing included. I didn't do any writing or any artwork over this break really, and it definitely like opened my eyes to the whole idea of like the Sabbath and just needing rest really, and to rest in God's promises. And you know, in the past when I've had like a week off or from work, I still would have been working on like some of my content and everything got there. So I was still working even though I was off from my job really and you know I didn't really know when to stop and I remember there was times way back when I did like my webtoon stuff but I remember there was a day in particular where I would have just worked from about say 12 o'clock in the afternoon till 12 o'clock that night maybe one o'clock that night and you know, do you know what I think it's super important as a Christian just even as a creative or any person in general really like you know you just have to find time to rest and for me to really rest in what God has done you know over the past couple of years and just to you know rest in his promises and what he's going to do for my life is what really has been on my heart for you guys you know I do feel that you know there is power in rest and to you know you know even on like the seventh day God rested like when he created um the world and the universe and everything else and like you know it's just crazy just like how important that it is to just Rest in what Jesus has done for us and everything else. So as you can see here, I'm experimenting with a few colours, which, you know, trying to get the whole purplish sort of colour thing right with the West Sponge brush, which I loved. 
I definitely went back and forth a little bit and just using the smudge tool. I did follow a tutorial from Digital Art Junkie. I will leave her their TikTok in the description below. Um, just following that way technique for the clouds because like, you know, I love digital art and I love how I can just whip out my iPad and just go to town and not have to clean up. But you know, nothing really beats actually getting out your acrylics and just sitting down to do a piece. But I really did enjoy these wee ones, I have to say. So I'm filling in like highlights and different colours, inspired by the reference piece there, using the sponge, the wet sort of texture brush. And yeah, that's really all I did. I would just play about with it and play about with the size and the opacity and the layers. I'm, I'm particularly fond of the add layers on Procreate because they could just add like such a lovely glow and like you can play about with it. It's, it's just lovely, I have to say. So yeah, I'm adding in the highlights as you can see here and like, you know, you can't go a bit overboard. But then we always have the erase and the... I forgot my words. The sponge too. Oh gosh. Anyway, it's been a long day. <laughs> So yeah, I'm just filling in the wee highlights here and just trying to finish off this wee piece and then I'll eventually change the background as well. And I really just used like the the sponge brush and just played about with it and played about with the size with basic shadows and like having like the colours be harmonious within like the pink sort of purplish sort of colour scheme as well. And it's very, very simple to do. I guess it took me no more than about 10 minutes and it's just a nice wee switch off and I do move on to a blue piece which I did forget the footage like I literally had the thing done and it was just like it was gone I didn't even record it it was like oh okay <laughs> but I did do another one I did do a wee third one but you'll see the other blue one at the end of this video oh, and maybe even it's two excuse my voice like I've been having a few problems with my sinuses lately and I literally came home from holiday on the Friday and the Saturday, I swear I woke up and I felt like I had a cold. And like even now, coming into like coming home from work, and like even right now as I'm talking to you, like the pain from my nose is shooting up into my eye, and it's not a vibe. Oh, oh! If anyone has had sinus before, like you'll know. Like oh, goodness gracious me! Like literally, I had to step off to work to go into the bathroom and literally blow my nose. Like you're trying to be like polite and blow your nose and be like like a little one, but I need to go and do like a full on hack and get this thing uh, uh, like out of my nose oh it was awful but yeah for this next week piece i'm sorry like tmi if you're disgusted or triggered by um boogers <laughs> but um yeah for the next week piece i'm trying like you know different sort of reference that i have on my phone like a sort of more golden orangey type background background clouds come on get it together <laughs> i'm just using the <clears throat> pardon me the sponge brush again and the wet sort of brushes and just to create a few like bases for the clouds and I do set the layer to multiply and then I go over the top with a few more highlights but this is more in like a it's a lighter color but I'm not quite adding the add layer yet I'm just adding it in a few more saturated um highlights really just to give the clouds a bit of shape really with the same brush and just playing about again with the opacity and the size of the brush and adding in a few gray textures just to build up the shadows a bit as well in a layer behind the um, original shadows that we first did. As you can see here, I'm just trying to fill it in just so it looks a bit more blended in with the blue background of the sky reference photo. And honestly, this was just super simple to do and super easy to do, especially if you're, pardon me, I just had to blow my nose there, I'm so sorry. But yeah, it's just like super easy to do. And then again, you add in like your little add layer and just add a little bit of glow. Yeah, it's just, it's super easy. Like I did add in like the highlights 
gradually like I didn't like you know go full on with the ad layer but like just slowly adding them in making it very subtle very like not too in your face and just experimenting with one brush like it was just super simple and very pleasant to do because I haven't done anything like this in a wee while you know because not that I've had art block as such but just like it's just not there as much as it used to be it's okay we will just keep going Pardon me. Oh, so yeah, the West Sponge brush, brilliant for doing clouds, I have to say. It's very much like the like watercolour brush that you maybe would have used and like the sponge sort of texture, so it's very very true to its physical form, I have to say. And then I did add in a few like little flecks with the eye layer just to add in little flickers of light here and there. I definitely just struggle with this. I'd like put it down and then like just smudge it out. Just so it's not too too much and not too unnatural. But yeah, I think it's so important too, like even with the whole idea of clouds, what I always loved about it is that, you know, it says in the Psalms that, you know, the heavens declare the, the glory of God and just how it is his creation and we live in it and we get to live in this lovely earth. And, you know, sometimes like on like this holiday, like I literally just had to rest at what God has done and what he will do. And I think I can definitely say that the same for you guys. Like, you know, just rest in what God has already done in your life and just have the attitude of gratitude is what I would say to, you know, remember what God has done for you over your life and your testimony and how he's protected you. It's just so, so important just to remember what he's done and also be thankful for what he's going to do because I believe that he is not done with you. That is for you. If you're listening, God is not done with your story. And yeah. I think just looking up at the clouds and just taking a moment, breathe in the salt air, as they say in August by Taylor Swift. Happy August month if you celebrate. <laughs> but yeah, I think it's just super important just to pause and to get off your phone and read your Bible and just go out and have a wee prayer walk with God. It's super, super nice, especially when you're in the north coast of Ireland. It is very chilly up there, I have to say. Like, I literally had to bring a coat to the beach. It was very cold. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, it was just nice just to be off work and just to have a rest and yeah. I miss eating the good food at Bally Castle, I have to say. Oh, if you're ever in Bally Castle, go to the cafe Dolly's and O'Connor's for your food. Absolutely 10 out of 10, I have to say. So I'm just filling in the little ad layer and just subtle little bits of light and just smudging all out with the wet texture brushes and just again add in some more saturated glow as well with the colour and I do play about with the hue and saturation tools on Procreate which is really nice. And that's pretty much it, like it's super easy to do and very enjoyable. And yeah, I hope you can enjoy the lost footage of the clouds. I just done like a simple white cloud, which you will probably see on my shorts on here on YouTube. Give it a like and a wee subscribe to my channel if you want. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Be sure to give me a like and a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye and God bless for today.